In this video, I'm going to show you how this little switch does 55 different things in my smart home and how you can use something like this to rule your smart home. One ring to rule them all. Okay, ring, switch, same thing. Cue the audio. This is the Lutron Scene button. It's a four button switch with several different text options. If you don't have Lutron switches in your home, don't worry. You can still leverage the ideas in this video for your smart home automations. Mine has bright, entertain, relax, and off. You can get other combinations and colors, which I've linked below. Regardless, I'd highly suggest you set an eBay search for these switches. Sometimes you can get them even 50% off retail prices. And they're expensive, so saving a little bit of money is great when you have a lot of them. So installing these is actually really simple. You can use this little plate and put it really anywhere in your house. And I just happen to be using an existing junction box where some other switches are. But you install this plate, you take the Pico remote, and you slot it in like that. Using something like Home Assistant or HomeBridge for HomeKit, you can listen for each of these buttons to be pressed and then trigger various states or automations based off of that. So let me talk you through each button and how I'm using them. So Bright is pretty straightforward. Everything turns on. It's simple, but since every switch in my house is a smart switch, literally every light inside the house can be turned on by this one light. I could make it a bit more contextually aware of what time of day it is, but I haven't worked on that yet. For now, Bright is Bright. Entertain is fairly similar to Bright, but has an added level of automation. Most of the lights will turn on to levels that we like when our friends or guests come over, but it also presses a virtual switch that indicates guest mode has been enabled. And when guest mode is on, our robot vacuum doesn't run, uh, our smart locks won't automatically lock, and the TV will set itself to show some nice artwork. At the end of the night, when our guests leave, if I press the entertain button again, the lights are lowered to the previous levels, the robot vacuum starts cleaning the house, and the doors automatically lock. And if for some reason I forget to do this, guest mode is automatically reset at the end of the day. So let's jump into Home Assistant and you can see how this is configured. So here we are in my Home Assistant, and let me jump you over to the Automations tab. So if I go into Settings, Automations, you'll see a lot of my different automations, but the ones that we care about are Scene button. So for Entertain, the first automation I have is simply a trigger. If that Lutron Scene button is pressed, the second button down, this will trigger. And what it does is it just toggles between a virtual switch called Guest Mode On uh, or Guest Mode Off. And the reason I do that is so that I can control Guest Mode from my phone as well as the switch. Uh, it just allows me to use it as a virtual switch really from anywhere. Uh, so when guest mode is changed, this is where really the entertain automation is primarily living. The way that guest mode works here is when the guest mode status is changed, we jump down into these two actions. So first it will say, hey, is guest mode on? Okay, so if guest mode is on, we're gonna do a couple things. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our service, which is the lock the door automation. So that automatically locks our smart locks after a certain amount of time. The second thing is we're gonna set a scene to the levels uh, that we like. That's number two. Uh, if guest mode has been turned off, so if we go back and we press that entertain button again, it will turn off guest mode. And here are a couple things that we do here. So again, we turn the service, the switch turn on service on. So that means if we leave the door unlocked, it'll automatically lock it. Uh, and we also lock the door at that time. Uh, the second thing is we check a couple of conditions. So this is primarily for the robot vacuum and what I want to do here is to make sure it's an appropriate time of day to run the robot. Usually guests are coming over in the evening so we look to see, hey, is this after bath time which is when we take the kids up for a bath or before midnight. If it is, we check to make sure that the, uh, the robot hasn't run already and we send the robot to clean. So that's how the uh, entertain button uh, automation works in a nutshell. Next up is relax. We hit this button after we're done putting our kids to bed for the night. I do the same thing with the other button and I flip a virtual switch and home assistant to enable relax mode. This dims all the lights in the house and if no motion is detected for a while, it turns them off completely. 
Usually when relax mode is on, we're watching a movie, so the TV lights automatically turn on. And if we ever go back into the kitchen for a snack, our under cabinet lights turn on. It's nice and easy on the eyes, especially after a long day. So I'll show you how I have this set up in Home Assistant. Scene button relax is the automation. And like I said before, it flips a virtual switch and I'll talk you through how that works and a couple of the things that it does. So this is again the trigger. If the third button on the keypad is pressed, then we trigger this automation. The first thing we do is we turn on relax mode. Again, this is that virtual switch and that's gonna be important in just a second. So hold on to that. Then we turn off and turn on a couple of different lights. So one, two, three, four, five different lights that we like set at a particular level. We also turn off our upstairs TV, which is the Samsung frame. And then we activate a light scene in our basement, uh, which is the pause scene, but it's a nice le level of lighting, low lights. So when relax mode is on, this automation happens and it's all about motion. So again, when our when we walk into our kitchen, we want the lights to be nice and dim for the under cabinet lights to come up. So there's a couple of different triggers that I have set up and they're all based on motion. So if we have motion in any of these different areas, uh, a couple of different things will happen. So we'll test whether relax mode is on uh, and good night is on. So if it's good night, that means it's later in the evening we've gone up for bed. So this automation does a little bit of work for both of those scenarios but this is where the, the actions happen. So if we are seeing motion in the, tri in the kitchen, the uh, couple of uh, checks will be made, uh, primarily confirming motion is off in other areas of the house, and then we'll turn off a handful of different lights uh, in the kitchen and uh, the mudroom. Secondly, if the motion is triggered in the playroom, so if there's no motion, that's the trigger, uh, then we will turn off the playroom lights and then the same thing for our foyer When there is no motion in the foyer, we'll turn off the foyer pendant lights So this allows people to walk around the house lights will turn on lights will turn off But primarily it allows us to keep the lights at a low level, which we really like when we're trying to relax So then there's off which is my favorite button. It is the workhorse of our house so I'm going to show you exactly how it works and everything that it does. The way to think about this automation is I have it set up so that it turns off all the lights in our house, but it's also kind of a grab bag of all the things that I've forgotten to turn off over the various years living here in this house. So the first thing that Home Assistant does is it turns off downstairs and basement lights. There's a lot of different lights, but it's so nice when you press this button and everything goes off. Uh, Home Assistant will also turn off the exterior lamp post, exterior entryway light, and then it will also turn off guest mode. And as I explained before, guest mode has a couple of different things. One of the things it does is it makes sure that the doors are locking uh, at night. Next, we turn on the alarm. I turn on a good night mode, which is just a way that I can know within Home Assistant whether we're done for the day various different automations trigger off of good night mode, but that's for another video. I also have forgotten to turn off the garage lights a handful of times, so I finally put that in here. Uh, I turned on the dehumidifier because it's kind of loud uh, at, during the day and wanted to make sure that it's on overnight. So it's just another check to make sure that uh, it turns on. I've forgotten to turn off the downstairs AC before, so that is turned off. And then I made a whole other video about this, but it's an amazing way to get notified if I forgot to run the dishwasher during the day. It sends my phone a notification, which is really, uh, really amazing and saves my butt pretty much like two or three times a week. So check out the video I linked it above uh, and uh, let me know what you think about that one. And then lastly, close the garage door because I did forget to close the garage door once. Scene switches like this are so powerful. And the best part of this, we don't have to talk to a voice assistant. We don't have to pull out our phones. We just press a button. Even my in-laws know how to use this and <laughs> that is saying something. Have a great day and I'll see you in the future.